Hey guys, Liam here with ASA. I wanted to make a quick video on the physics cock. A lot of people, or the P, we affectionately refer to it as the P. A lot of people by far don't spend enough time learning about the HUD. They're either overwhelmed by it, it's confusing to them, they don't know how to use it. So I wanted to make this video to go over the HUD with you at a high level to give you some basic foundational comfort with it. So you've added the ASA animations HUD and what you'll see is a little house. So you want to hit that house icon and hit the eyeball so you can make your cock visible. The one thing I'm going to go over with you right away is the tilt control and the vertical control. And many of you will either have this as soft or soft to hard if you want to use the P um, in an erect fashion. As you can see when I have it on soft to hard and I use the vertical angle, that's what moves it up and down. If you have it soft, kind of does the same thing, gives it a limpier look. You can still move it up and down however you need it to be. Bendy, you guys can kind of play with this one. You can move it around uh, different, different angles and variations and such. Now, as far as the other modes go, which I don't use too much in the tilt control, I've done some photography where I've used the vertical hang left or hang right or just using the different angles on the tilt side but you'll notice that this top portion largely the purpose of it is to move it at a different angle from left to right but you'll you'll notice too there are there are other things going on here as well you've got pulsing and different angles like we talked about soft to hard making it hard and soft so the other thing too i'm on the soft to hard one you change the length on the hud here in this first row regular medium large and if that's not good enough guys you've got extra large and double extra large uh, <laughs> all the same functions by size just allows you to create a different length there so for now, I'll just hide this, go over a few other things. I'm not going to play these. You guys can go in here and play these if you want. But when you're on your HUD, you go to this little sound icon. There are different sexual sounds here that you guys can click on. You'll hear them. When they're playing, if you want to stop them, you just hit the stop button. Wherever you see the stop button, you can hit that, and it will stop for you. The other common thing that I use a lot is just the ball control here. So clicking on this kind of phallic thermometer, uh, coldest balls, cold balls, warm balls, warmer, hot. You can move them back if you want. Hiding them just kind of pushes them up into you. So this is handy so that you can have them where you like them. This one here allows you to move the balls. You can swing them, as you can see. Different kinds of swinging, pulsing, some moving here too. You can angle them back. Twist them if you want to. I've never had a need to do that, but I know Second Life crazy things happen. Uh, skin, no skin button. Whether you want foreskin or not. I miss this guy here. Girth is how big you want it to be. In, in girth so not in length but in girth so you can have it really big you can have it be super small and skinny whatever suits your needs this button here is the info hunt it tells you exactly what each button does and I think this is either missed or misunderstood so there's always the heart button here that kind of goes over what each button does so you can click that at any time The button, oops, the button here with the smiley faces on it. You've got some face controls there if you guys want to use those. Personally, I don't use them, but if you guys want to, you know that they're there. This is one that I'll use from time to time. This is great for, I'll turn my AO off, AO off here. If you want to use the animations that come with the P, with respect to an AO, obviously you can see it's kind of moving there. 
can have it move around, make it look a little more, a little bigger here. I'm not going to attract anybody with a small thing like that. Uh, <laughs> so roaming stands, there's just various different stands in here, obviously. You can see as the stands move or as the animations play, there's just some movement in the P, and a lot of people get a crack out of this, so I really like it. It's handy. Obviously, it's not going to move on its own if you're using like a Vista AO or another AO. But the options that you have there are, I know, sometimes when I'm dancing, I'll have a dance HUD on. I'll just go here. When I'm dancing, obviously, the P is not going to dance with whatever dance HUD I'm using. So one of the things that I find to be most realistic while I'm dancing is... Uh, this body roll because it's moving just enough to make it realistic otherwise you can certainly use the dances in the HUD here you'll see obviously that my Avi is dancing these are dances loaded in the HUD these aren't mine in a separate dance HUD I do find that in the dance HUD that I use the dances in my HUD for my separate dance HUD if that makes any sense are dancing my Avi and these dances still allow the P to move. So there isn't any collision between the physics HUD and the dance HUD that I use uh, peripherally, I guess I'll say. But I, it depends on what one you're using and things like that. So don't don't take my word for it. You might just get lucky. got to turn my personal A off here. But as you can see, various different dances here. Pretty good dances as well. Really nice dances. As you go through these... <clears throat> excuse me. When you're ready, as always, uh, you can hit the stop button and stop those animations. With respect to the other functions of the HUD at a base level, you click this little fountain looking button, I guess, and it makes you pee. And you can click this little raindrop here to get some drippage or some pre. And the button with a lot of raindrops, obviously, is going to make you shoot. Um, you can also click this, I refer to it as a shield button, put on your Jimmy hat. There is a texture HUD that allows you to change the color of your condom. You can res the P out, you can make the condom glow if you want to. For those of you who are not technically savvy, you're not comfortable editing the object, just, I wouldn't mess with that, I guess. Um, take advantage of just what's built into the HUD, if that's easier for you. As far as positioning the P goes, you can see that I've got it pretty good here, but if you need to make any adjustments, if you want to bring it out more, if you want to raise it up or lower it, you just use these arrows to do so. And these are located right here, bottom row. And you've got them right here. The other function that you have in your HUD is these three dots here. And this HUD is always changing, as is the P. Updates are constantly made. There's various different settings in here. Manual girth select. You can change cum shots. Um, if you need to hide your P on teleport, if you want to put piercings in it, cock rings, ball rings, things like that, you can put all of those on. Remote control, so if you make a copy of your animations HUD, because the animations HUD is copyable, you can share it with someone that you want to allow the ability to remote control the P. You actually can do that. There's a dick light, you can toggle that. If you have any BOM layers, you can toggle that. You can resize the HUD. Sorry for all the pop-ups. You can choose a different cum style. I'll just leave mine on one for now. Sorry for those popping up there. Oops. I'll just move this guy over here. Disable, enable face animations. I've never messed with that. I don't have a problem with it. Disable, enable sounds. Again, I haven't messed with that for personal use. I don't have any issues there. Um, save, reset, down position. Group, landmark. You can rate us. Five stars, please. Uh, and a wiki, customer service. So 
really handy little tool that's built into what is initially, I think, a very overwhelming HUD. But as you guys can see, certainly a lot of features in it. And you probably noticed a lot of helpful things to know as well. So this is a very high level foundational overview of the P-HUD. If you guys have any questions, feel free to go into the ASA group chat and just send a message in there or ping me directly. I certainly don't mind if I'm available to help out and answer any questions that I can. But thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day. And thanks for buying the P.